What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is December 20th. How are you guys getting ready for Christmas? And uh, let me know down below what you want for Christmas. What would be your ideal Christmas present? We're going to check evolutions today first because somebody said that there's a new evolution that's going to be here. I wanted to see it and there isn't, which is too bad. And uh, let's have a look into objectives. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the content, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Nothing here, unfortunately. Nothing here, unfortunately. And nothing here either, unfortunately. So no objectives and no evolutions to start with. If you want to be able to afford the best players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EAFC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. They already offer some of the best prices out there, but you can get an extra 6% off using promo code NEP at checkout. So with that, what we will have is the Thunderstruck upgrades. I know they have been upgraded. Let's have a look at what new player we've got today. Those are not new. Triple Threat Trio is coming down in time now. Those are not new. Oh, do we have the second player of the month, Mbappe? Griffo. We've got Zuba Leader. 88 rated centre back. Two star, three star. Gets a great link with Kieran Tierney. Good pace. Good defending and physical. Good passing and dribbling. Probably would be better off as a CDM. Can he play CDM? No, just a centre back. As a jockey plus. Bruiser and long ball pass. Not the best play styles. He's going to have to be quite cheap, like an 83, at maybe an 83 with an inform, maybe an 84. An 82 rated with an 85 rated, with two 85 rated cards. That's not so bad. Uh, like, it's an 88 rated card that you could put into like Zidane or something if you're working on that. I'd, I'd definitely go and uh, go and do that. No player of the month from Bappe. Do we have a new upgrade today? Doesn't look like we do. We do not. We've got the new challenge today. Oh no, wait. Yeah, Kessler. Is that the last one? Either way, it's there. Do we have a new icon? No, we do not. We only have the new team of the week and the new upgrades on Thunderstruck. Refresh for Evo. New Evo is a token reload. Wait, there is a new Evo there? Where? A founder one again. Wait, they've given another founder? Where is it? Oh, back out? Let's back out and go back in. What a back out. How come it wouldn't have come through when I logged in at 6pm in the first place? We get to see the winter wildcard screen again, though. Or for the first time this video. Which will be quite nice, yeah, right? <laughs> Show me. No, never mind. Congratulations. Okay. Is it different to the first one that they gave? Why have they given us another one? Not that I'm complaining. I'm all about it. But is it different? <clears throat> FC found an upgrade. Let's go and have a look. If it's different or the same. Oh, they've given the original FC founders upgrade again. Rarity, complete founder evolution. Oh, oh so now you can do founders too. And then this just gives another plus two. All you have to do is have a founder's card and get a plus two. But it actually only gives one. It's an overall plus two, but one pace, one shooting, three passing, two dribbling, and two physical. And power shot play style. But obviously, I can only put Kai Havertz in here on this account. It's a, it's a bit. It's what I thought it was going to be in the first place, just an upgrade. But I suppose you can now put a player in Founders 2, like a really good player, like Kola Mouani, and then put them in FC Founders upgrades. So the Schneider SBC isn't there yet. I wonder if, because there's no Evos, or sorry, there's no SBCs at all, there's nothing new. I wonder if they've had some issues with releasing 
the SBCs. No one's using 82 rate. No, no, it's not about an 82 rate card, right? It's not about an 82 rate card. I'll, I'll show you. Hold on. What have we got in promo packs? Wow. Elite Dynasties pack. Dynamic Duo Heroes pack is back again. Nobody's doing that. Two heroes, and it's like it looks like the base heroes. Nobody's doing that. Um, the reason why that Evo is quite good is because. Let me get to it. You can now, yeah, see what I mean? You can now take an Evo card. And Evo them again. So like Kola Moani gets even further upgrade. FC Founders 2, then FC Founders upgrade. And all of a sudden, this card is absolutely bonkers. Good pace, pop a finisher on him. Great shooting, great dribbling, good physical, good passing, five-star skill moves. Like, yeah, the rating is irrelevant. It could be any rating. So as long as you put somebody in that Evo in the first place... You can get some pretty cool cards. Even this Tammy Abraham looks like pretty legit, to be fair. Dribbling Sensation, Trick Ortista time, FC Founders 2 and FC Founders Upgrade, 4-star, 3-star, a little heavy on agility and balance. But with the Hunter, great pace, good dribbling, good shooting, great physicals, very good passing, very good play styles. Um, so it's not, uh, not that bad. It's, it's just the, you know, all you can do is re-evo the Founders card. So for me, for example... I might have to delete the Trossard that I've got and do it on this Trossard. Because now all of a sudden, this Trossard, 5-star, 4-star, with these stats, is quite quite enticing. And we'd put an engine on him. Good passing. No, not an engine, a maestro. Give me the maestro, give me the maestro. Minimum, 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 maestro. Good passing, good shooting from range, good dribbling. It's a nice card. And he's got power shot in there as well. Oh, I forgot about the new team of the week. Who's in the new team of the week? Ossiemen, Modric, Kim Min Jae, Raphael Varane. Apparently, he's eligible for an Evo. I don't think he is. Um, but this is the team of the week. So, McAllister, Siberi, Asano, Ostermeyer. Joel Pereira, Pizarro, Azaz, Sabi, Mujica, Andre Luiz, Kudus from West Ham. He's already got a special card though, hasn't he? Uh, we've got Terraciano, Dovbik, doesn't look very good. St. Maximin, he's going to be quite an interesting one. Oh, oh, he's eligible for the new team of the week, is he? Um, this St. Max is quite good, to be fair. Trickster Plus, Technical Flare and Quick Step, really good dribbling, good shooting, great pace, good physicals. I think a dead eye on him. That's, that's a serious card, to be fair. Five star, five star with high low work rates. That's a really good card, that St. Max. Varane is also a good card. Obviously, he's already got an 88 rated anyway. And this one, he's got Anticipate Plus, which is good with the Shadow. Great pace, great defending, very good physicals, reasonable passing and dribbling. We've got Kim Min Jae. Been given a nice plus three. Again, him with a shadow. Great pace, great defending, good physicals. Passing and dribbling is a bit mere, a bit heavy. We've got Luka Modric, but it doesn't matter because his 93 is cheap and everyone, everyone's got that. It's a good card, though, if you pack it. And then we've got Aussie Men, who's also already got a 38k 92 rated card. Bit, bit weird, isn't it? Bit weird. Um, yeah, Team of the Week upgrade then. Let's have a look at... Uh, Raphael Varane in here. Yeah, there he is. So Varane is eligible. And looks like... Oh, it's like, it's like they're working on it still. Like, he's, he's there, you can see. But it's not actually showing it. Maybe Footbin will have it. Yeah, Footbin has it. I mean, it's just a plus two, isn't it? But, I mean, that is a tasty, tasty card. That is a good card. That plus two is really, really nice. Um, let me have a look at my evolutions. See if it helps with anything for me here. No upgrades anywhere. Apart from Fabio Vieira and El Neni again. So that was too bad for me. 
no more no more evos i feel like yeah the challenge sbc is missing schneider is missing um i also I, I feel like in general because there was no new objectives whatsoever although saying that the new season starts tomorrow but there was no new objectives whatsoever there was no new sbcs apart from zubalida like it's it's surprising now he uh, he actually looks all right doesn't he I, I do quite like this card look how many dark greens he's got there he's controlled lengthy good pace good defending good physicals good passing and good dribbling. Two star, three star sucks a little bit, but I actually like. I think he'd be better off as a central defensive midfielder. But then again, his skill moves and weak foot are pretty pretty poor. But overall, I think this is a really cool SPC. I can't even lie. Now, one thing I do want to look at is the Thunderstruck um, upgrades. We have had some new Thunderstruck upgrades. Cruyff was not one of them. Pushkas is one of them. So he's been given a plus one for Real Madrid's 4-1 uh, win over Villarreal. One pace, shooting and passing. One dribbling, defending, and two physical for Pushkas, which is quite nice. I, th I don't think he got any... Uh, no, it's just a plus one upgrade for the inform there. I mean, this card is wild, isn't it? Four-star, three-star, but... Pop a hawk on him. Oof. Crazy. It's always weird that you never see him in people's like end-game meta teams. Muller... As uh, Byron have still got the game against Union Berlin to hopefully get him the plus, plus three one in form upgrade. Henri was upgraded already, so was Vinny J. Oh no, Vinny J wasn't. Vinicius Jr. is now. No, wait, he was, wasn't he? Or has he just been upgraded? I think he's just been upgraded. We've got plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus one, plus two physical. Very nice. We've got Neymar was the one that was already 92 rated. A Toto got one pace and shooting, two passing, one dribbling, and one physical. For 77k, this card is bonkers. A Hawk is a pretty good chem style for her. I feel like a Hunter's probably the best. Great pace, great shooting, good passing, good dribbling. Very good play styles, four star, four star. I mean, that is a serious player. For 77k, that is a serious player. The Arnie is up to an eight, a 92. She might have already been upgraded, mind you, but again, a real sick card. The CS is a 92. He got one, one, two kicking, one, one, and one. He was already the best goalkeeper in the game. He's going to be even better. Bernardo Silva is done. Oh no, Bernardo Silva got a. Oh no, he already had the plus one in form upgrade, didn't he? Uh, Alessandro Nesta got the upgrade from AC Milan. One pace, one defending and physical, two dribbling. Oof, not bad. Shadow chem style on him. Great defending, great physicals. Dribbling and passing is a bit meh. Just he just needs a little extra, doesn't he? He just needs a little extra to make that card like super, super good. Um Kaka 91 now. One pace, two shooting, one passing. One dribbling, one defending, one physical. Super card. Maestro for me. Yes, please. In at that cam roll. Five star, four star, six foot one. Give me some of that. They've actually got a usable Kaka this year, which is great. Dalglish was already upgraded. Uh, Van der Sar was already upgraded. Kim and Hemp were already upgraded. De Jong has expired. Perez was already upgraded. Xabi Alonso is now up to an 89. They gave him two pace, which was very generous of them. This card, I used this card as an 88. I didn't like it. There's a reason why it's 70,000 coins. It wasn't that great. And it still looks like good, but not great. We've got Gabriel Jesus was already an 88. Varane was already an 88. Lukaku as well. Ruben Loftus-Cheeks. What an upgrade that is. One pace, two shooting, one passing and dribbling, two defending and one physical. For an objective card, this is a serious card. Four-star, four-star. Some very nice play styles. Shadow chem style, great pace. Very good defending and physical, very good passing and shooting, and good dribbling. That is a really cool card, and he's massive. Six foot three. That's a really cool card, Loftus Cheek is. The Pi was already upgraded, as was Campbell and Romero. Lee Kang in was already upgraded. Klosterman is now up to an 87. He got one pace and shooting, two passing and dribbling, one defending and physical. This is, again, this is a good 17k for this card. Him and Simikan together, you could put in the team. Unbelievable. I don't understand how this card is so cheap. Six foot two, very good play styles, very good stats, very good pace. What more do you want? Maybe anticipate, I suppose. 
Uh, Quadrado is up to an 87. One pace and uh, shooting, one passing and dribbling, two defending and physical. Wow. He's got right back eligibility. Yeah, wow. Five star, three star. Flair, power shot, whip pass, technical, first touch, trip star. Sentinel chem style. That is an insane card. I would give him a Sentinel and play him at right back. But if you want to play him at, on like the wing, an engine, I mean, that's a crazy card. That is a crazy card. How tall, how tall is he? 165,000 coins. That's mad. Bremer missed out. Go Jomez up to an 87. 80k for this card. He might have already been upgraded to be fair, but I still can't believe this card is 80k. It's such a good card. What do they give him? One defending and physical, one dribbling, two passing and shooting. Tigankov got upgraded to an 87. This card's going to be dirt cheap. It's not not a great card anyway. It's not a bad card, but it's just not a great card. It's, it's good, it's usable, it's serviceable. Uh, Frimpong would have got a couple of play styles for the second win from Bayer Leverkusen. Jockey, rapid, flair, first touch, quick step and relentless. Relentless is really nice for a card like this. Jesus. Pop an anchor chem style on him. That's a really good card. Maybe even a Sentinel on him as well, actually. That's a really good card. Relentless, I think, makes a world of difference. Um, Fekir, nothing. Alfonso Davies would have got a couple of play styles. Now I've got whip pass, jockey, intercept, rapid, and Travella. Not the best card, Davies. Good pace, reasonable dribbling, but just not the best card. Joe Linton got no more upgrades. Emre Chan got no more upgrades. Kieran Tierney was already upgraded. Max Ansu Fati, no more upgrades. And Tiddy, no more upgrades. And that's that. There are some really, really, really nice cards there, that's for sure. Let's have a look at this SBC and see if people are liking it or not. Zubalida. Yeah, he's upvoted, and deservedly so. But uh, check the new loading screen. But uh, I don't think we're getting everything that we should have. If It feels like... Not to say that this is like a content on, content off day, but it feels like um, EA have forgotten to like release some content. Yeah, Quadrado is really good. Katoto is really good as well. Right, what have we got for this new starting screen? So Winter Wild Cards. Ooh, Winter Best Of. They're going to be in packs in 23 hours. That's interesting. So we're getting a Best Of again. Um, but on Thursday... I wonder why they're giving us best of on Thursday. Maybe so that we can open our champs rewards early. But, uh, yeah, there you go, guys. So, yeah, the Wesley Schneider challenge isn't there, and it should be. And even though we've got the new season that starts tomorrow, I thought we might have had some, like, random objective or whatever, but we haven't. But that is it for today. So an incredible upgrade um, to some of those Thunderstruck cards. A pretty mediocre team of the week, it must be said. Um, I don't think there was any... Uh, any team of the weeks at all that stood out to me. Maybe Varane, but like all of the team of the weeks that seemed to be good all had better cards. ossiemen has got a better card already. Sigankov, oh, that's Dobvik. Um, St. Max had the flashback. Modric has got a better card already. Kudus has got an SBC. Varane's got a better card already. Kim Min Jae is probably the only one that got like a reasonable upgrade that I look at and think, oh yeah, he's, uh, he's pretty decent. Um, and then we get the... Uh, We get the um, the Founders Upgrade Evo, which I actually think is really good. And this is what I thought the Founders stuff would be. Just a Founders Upgrade where you just put whatever Founders card you did in the first place in and get more upgrades. They should release this like every two weeks, another plus two, you know. They really should. Um, the Schneider SBC is out now, is it? Okay, there you go. Um, so that is going to be it for today. Let me know what you think down below, guys. Thank you as always for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.